Hello, my name is Rachel and I love housewares. And as I keep mentioning <laughs> this month, June is my birthday month. My birthday is June 27th and I'll be turning 48. So that's exciting. And my mother had given me some money for my birthday and she told me to buy myself something that I wouldn't normally buy myself. Cause as you guys know, I'm a bargain hunter and I'm cheap. So <laughs> I tend to, to keep my purchases, you know, <laughs> less extravagant. So I had uh, this lamp in my living room. It was just this little like $10, $20 Ikea lamp. And I'd had it for probably 10 years. And the little on off switch on the cord just finally gave out and it just it stopped working. This was months ago. And I've been meaning to replace that lamp for months. And I just haven't gotten around to it because like, the living room has the overhead light, but that's just way too bright. I like to have a little lamp off to the side and just lightly brighten the room, if you know what I mean. So I decided to get extravagant with my lamp. <laughs> I'd seen this lamp on Amazon and it's, it's a $70 lamp. And normally, like I said, my Ikea, my Ikea lamp was like 10, maybe $20. And all the lamps that I was previously looking at were in that no more than $25 range. But I thought if I'm supposed to do something extravagant for myself, I'm going to get myself this way over the top fancy lamp. <laughs> so I'm going to unbox this with you guys and then we're going to go set it up in the living room and see how it looks. I will say for how big the box is, it's surprisingly light. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. <laughs> There's a little thank you in the bottom. And lots of packing. Try. Oh, I, guess I could have taken the lampshade off first. The lampshade, as you can see, is like, I think it's just paper. And it has bats cut out all in it. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And I'm now covered in styrofoam. <laughs> But look how cool this lamp is, guys. <laughs> it's a vampire coffin. And apparently there's supposed to be two lights down here. I don't know if you can see them down in there. Are these tiny little like, like Christmassy LED lights that I believe are green. And then of course the regular, where you put your regular light bulb. And on the back, there is a USB so you can charge your phone. And then I'm guessing this is the on off switch right here. Actually, this must be the on off switch for those LED lights because this would be the on off switch for the main light. And, and if I remember correctly, the LED lights actually take batteries. Yep, there's a battery compartment here. So I'll have to put some batteries in here. I'm hoping it's just AAAs because I do have a lot of AAA batteries. Oh, and I might need a screwdriver to get that off. I'll see. Oh, no, no, it just pops out. And it looks like it takes three AAA batteries, which I do have, so that's great. So I'm going to go get this set up in the living room and then I will bring you guys along to see how it works. Okay, so I've assembled the lamp. I put in the three batteries and the shade on my first impression I thought it was paper but upon closer inspection I think it's like a really thin vinyl and it has this sort of I don't even know how to describe this finish on the outside the inside is just like a white um, and it does have these bat cutouts it says that the bat cutouts would project bats onto your walls and ceiling but I think where I have this situated that's not going to happen uh, it does just this is where my old lamp sat my old lamp was like a globe so it was only like this big <laughs> But this kind of just perfectly fits into the divot here on my little uh, bat lace mantelpiece thingy. <laughs> so, so that worked out nicely for me. And I'm going to turn off the, oh uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, there is a on off switch on the cord as well. That, so that turns on the power on and off to the main base. Uh, I'm actually, I have a small ring light plugged into that USB 
cord and that's what I'm filming from my small ring light stand and and that's being you know powered by the the USB thingy in the back but that you could also you know like I said put in a phone to charge your phone in the USB thingy in the back and I guess what we'll do is we'll turn off the main light and then we will experiment or see how the lights on this go and I just put in a small uh, it, it'll take any size bulb, but I put in like one of those small, um, so I can show you here. You see that? Like, what are those called? Like, economy bulbs or LED bulbs or, I can't remember what they're called. But that, that's all that I have in there. So let me turn off the main light and we will see how these lights work. Okay, so... The little button over here is for those green lights and you can see it lights up that looks pretty cool let me let me also turn off our ring light here <laughs> so that's what just the green looks like and that's actually pretty cool and I, I like the way that you can see the it, it even comes up high enough the it even shows off the some of the bats on the shade and that's a nice mood lighting I do like that and let's turn that off. Let's turn the main light on. And there is the main light. And that is the perfect amount of light that I wanted for my living room. Because it's not overpowering. Because my kitchen table is my office for work. <laughs> so I, I eat in my living room all the time. But I don't want to have that huge bright light on. So this is the perfect amount of light. So when I'm, you know, watching TV and eating, I won't have to like either sit in the dark and not be able to see my food or blind myself with the main overhead light. So yeah, I really like this. I'm trying to see. It does not appear to be projecting bats anywhere. So that part, <laughs> actually there's kind of a bat over here on the back mantle. <laughs> you can kind of see a couple of the bats on the back mantle there. So maybe it does work to project bats. What happens if you turn both ones on? I guess it's kind of pointless to turn both lights on, but, but that is really cool. I like having just that, that mood light going. <laughs> just wanted to jump on and quickly show you a photo that it does actually project bats onto the ceiling with the green light. So, Turn my light light back on. There we go. So that that's my new lamp. Um, I do I think it was worth the seventy dollars so far. Yes, absolutely, because it's different and unique and has lots of features to it. So I'm really happy about that. And I actually didn't pay the full seventy dollars. The uh, when I did buy it, it had a coupon and I had some Amazon credit. So in the end, I only paid like $55 for it. So that was an amazing deal, but I think normally it's around $70. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of my new awesome lamp. <laughs> Are you telling me what I think of it? Cause I'm referring to it as my awesome lamp. <laughs> I'm really happy that I bought it. And I'm, I'm really happy my mom gave me money and told me to buy something I wouldn't normally splurge on for myself. Cause now I have this super awesome lamp. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my little unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, of course you can give it a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. <laughs> and please subscribe to my channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.